All right, these are all the things I get from Trader Joe's that I always have in my freezer. I'm going to start with my absolute favorite, which is shawarma chicken. This is not from the freezer aisle, this is from the fridge aisle, but I buy a bunch and I put it in my freezer. I really love the sandwiches, rice with shawarma chicken just on top of a salad. Incredible product. I highly recommend. Another thing I always have is this tortillas, carb savvy. Yeah, low carb tortillas. They're so good. I buy a bunch also and I pop one in my freezer to always have on hand whenever I'm feeling that I need something low carb. These are really good and when you buy them, just get a bunch because they're not always there. Okay, now we come to my pre-cooked meals. This is my absolute favorite, chicken shumai. I never had the pork one because we don't consume pork, but this is incredible. This is my favorite thing on the planet. I like all their dumpling style things and you'll see I have a lot of them. So this is highly recommended and I have a video of how to make this. I'll link it down below for you. I'll link down all the videos down below of the things that I make from Trader Joe's so you'll see how I make these. I love the croissant so much. I always have one in the freezer for my kids. I leave them out overnight and then bake them in the morning. They love it. They become so good. This is incredible and the one with almonds is perfect as well. Another thing that I love from them is this chili lime chicken burgers. I just put them in the air fryer for a few minutes and I have them for two days over salad or in a little low carb sandwich. Super nice, but don't overcook them. They're very thin. Oh my goodness. These are just the bomb. These taste so good. These taste like the real thing that you would get from a Middle Eastern store. Um, right on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn, there's a Middle Eastern store that sells them and they taste exactly the same. So this is incredibly good. I put in my air fryer again and we eat it as a appetizer. It's incredible. One thing I love getting from them are frozen fruits. I love getting the frozen fruits because my son is so picky with food that he consumes a lot of smoothies. So I have all kinds of frozen fruits. We have mangoes, pineapples, acai, puree pockets, everything you could imagine from the freezer section that is a fruit we have, I highly recommend. And then I mix it for him with all kinds of seeds and nuts and he eats them and they're so, so good. Always have that. I also have mac and cheese for my kids. It's an incredibly quick dinner, especially if your kids are incredibly picky or you're a busy mom, you're working all day, just pop one of these in the microwave, just not too often, maybe twice a month and that's okay. I come to my absolute favorite, which is my Thai shrimp gyoza. Oh my lord, this is the best thing on the planet. I could eat this every day. I don't, but I could. This is amazing. I have a video for this as well. How could I forget my chicken and mushroom Russian style dumplings? If you know, you know, these are so, so good. I have many ways of making them. I'll make one more video of the simplest way to make it, but there's a bunch of other ways I make it and they're so incredibly good. Very nice. You can saute them, fry them, air fry them, make them soup. That's it. That is the best. The mushroom I always have, mushrooms. You can make orzo with this. You can make some risotto with this. You can put it in your omelet. You can do whatever you want. You can saute it and just serve it in your salad in the morning for a sandwich or for grilled cheese sandwiches where you have mushrooms and caramelized onions. This is so incredible. I highly recommend it. 
for a very quick breakfast and you don't feel like chopping up tomatoes and some peppers, you will get the shakshuka. You just make it yourself. It takes five minutes. It is so, so good. But, you know, it does have a little bit of sugar, but it's not so much. I think it's just from the fruit. Yeah, it just comes from the fruit. I mean, from, you know, the tomato. That's that or the vegetable. Is it tomato, fruit, or vegetable? This is what I get all the time. It is one of the few pre-cooked chicken meals I like from there. It is incredible. I have so many videos of this, making them different ways. I will link everything down below. And the way I make it is amazing. I've never tried it in the air fryer yet, but I will. I'll do that. So the next thing I love getting are broccoli florets because we eat so much broccoli. And I also love chopped spinach. Again, I make a lot of chopped spinach dishes. I can put this in the smoothie for my kids. And I also make omelets out of them. I make other delicious things out of them. Super, super nice and healthy. And I think they also have the organic ones. Sometimes I get it. This is not the one, but this is really good. So I highly recommend. The broccoli, of course, my daughter loves broccoli and I put it in everything. So good. And lastly, I love some of their pasta things. My favorite is the fettuccine, but I don't have it because we ate it. The Alfredo fettuccine, I have a video how to make it, but some of their pasta dishes are so good this one for example or the uh, fettuccine of course there's also linguine with clam sauce they have so many good pasta dishes there oh my god and they have mushroom um what is this called? ravioli so so good all of them are really good so i always have some pasta from there if there's something that you really love and it wasn't featured here, let me know and I'll try it and I'll tell you what I feel about it. And But I hope you try all of these at least once because they're so good and delicious. I am personally in love, but you know, not everybody has the same taste, so I understand that you don't like the same things, but I do hope you subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching.